Welcome back all my painting with a purpose friends. Today we are going to be painting an ocean scene with a dolphin. You're going to need your medium flat brush, your medium and small round brushes. We don't need a lot of different colors today. We need pink, purple, blue, white, and black. Don't forget to have your rag ready and your water cup ready. I always paint on 11 by 13 canvases, but as long as it's a rectangle, you should be able to follow the directions pretty easily. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create our horizon line and a horizon line is the line that separates your sky and your ground. So with my paintbrush, I'm going to take pink and white paint. So I've got pink on half and white on the other half. And I'm gonna make a line that's just below the center of my canvas. So just below the center, I'm just gonna make a straight line that goes across. Now I can kind of pull this color up a little bit and I'm gonna add some more white to it. Down towards the bottom of my sky, it's going to be a lighter pink. Now I'm gonna take this lighter pink and I'm gonna move it on up the canvas by just adding some pink on there. Don't forget to blend those colors and to blend all I do is run my paintbrush back and forth several times until the colors blend well. One more row of pink and then I'm gonna start adding in some purple. So as I pull this pink color up, I'm now gonna do pink and purple on my brush. I'm just gonna drop those colors in there. And I'm gonna start to mix some purple in. One area that's mixed with pink and purple and then the top, I'm just gonna put purple. Now I have my sky finished. I'm gonna take that brush and I'm going to wash it off and dry it off. And I'm gonna fill everything below that horizon line in with blue. Making sure that I keep my brush strokes left to right, fill everything down here in with blue. I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna wipe it off. I don't need to wash it off. I'll be coming back to that blue here in just a minute. But I'm gonna ignore the sky for a little bit and I'm gonna move down here to the water. I'm gonna take some purple right here along this edge and I'm just gonna drop a little bit of purple in, wipe the extra off on my towel and then I'm just gonna pull some of that purple across. I want the back of my water to look darker than the front of my water and that purple will help with that. Set this brush aside and I'm gonna now grab my medium round brush. With my medium round brush, I'm gonna finish off my water. So to do that, I'm gonna take areas of blue and just make little ripple effects. With some of these areas, I can add a little bit of white in, but I'm gonna do this over and over and over and over again, lots, until I get what looks like a wavy ocean. Go ahead and wash that brush off. Now we're gonna work on some clouds in our sky and to do those clouds, we're gonna be using white and pink. And I want you to see how we're gonna make one and then you can make as many as you want. I'm gonna start with a clean medium round brush and white paint. 
And I'm gonna start by making little dots, little dabbing lines in a straight line. You don't have to worry too much about the shape of your cloud to start with because clouds are very organic and they can go wherever you want them to. After I have my straight line, I'm gonna just add in a couple of bumps on my cloud. You don't wanna make your cloud symmetrical, so be sure as you're doing this that you are not allowing yourself to be a type A symmetrical human. Allow yourself to be more freeform. After you have those two bumps in there, I want you to vary the bottom of it. That means I want you to take part of it and just drop it down a little bit to help get rid of that harsh line you just made. The start of our cloud looks great, but it's not finished. I'm gonna add a little bit of pink to the top of the cloud. Just dab that color in. I'm gonna add a little bit more white just to the very bottom and I don't want this white to mix a whole lot. And I also wanna make some areas of my cloud even brighter white as well, just to show that there's some dimension and some depth in our cloud. How beautiful is that cloud? I like to do my clouds in threes, so make it an odd number, whether it's three, maybe you wanna do five or seven, but try to keep an odd number of clouds. I am gonna do three clouds, and I'm gonna make sure that I've got a small itty bitty one up here at the top, and another bigger one down lower. So they're also not all in the same plane going directly across. Now that I have my clouds finished, I'm gonna go back to my medium round brush. I'm gonna give myself two little islands, one on each side of my canvas with a few little palm trees on them. To do that, I'm gonna use black paint. Now my black paint is really thick, so I like to water it down. So I'm gonna water my black paint down just a little bit, and I'm gonna give myself two islands, one on either side of my canvas. This one over here, I'm gonna make it pretty long, coming all the way out here. And then it's gonna follow the straight edge of my water back. I just like to make these wavy lines to make my island a little bit organic, kind of like my clouds. This one over here is gonna be significantly smaller. I like to make things different on both sides. I think it makes it more interesting to look at. Now that I've got that done, I'm gonna take this brush and wash it and set it down. I'm gonna grab my baby brush. With that baby brush, I'm going to make my palm trees. So I've got my baby brush and I'm going to start by adding what's gonna look like foliage on the island by just adding a couple of dots up everywhere. And these are not my palm trees. These might be tall grasses or bushes. for my palm trees. I'm gonna have one palm tree that's gonna kind of curve this way. Palm trees are not always the straightest trees that we can find, so it's okay if yours have a little bit of curve to them. I'm gonna have one go right here, he's gonna be smaller, and another one right here, he's gonna be smaller too. So I'm gonna put three palm trees on this side. Remember, I like to do things in odd numbers but then I'm just gonna put one palm tree on this side and it's gonna go right above my cloud. The 
Now that I know where my palm trees are gonna go, this is how we're gonna make our palm fronds. They're pretty easy. When we make, if you've made palm fronds with me before, you know that a lot of times I do every individual little line, but because this is a silhouette, I'm just going to take my paintbrush and kind of do what's gonna look like a starfish coming out of it. So just a couple of lines. I'm gonna make the tips of them just a little skinny. Maybe give the inside a little bit of fatness to it. Skinny to fat. Now I'm gonna lay out my dolphin before I put my my son in because I wanna make sure that I've got enough room for my dolphin to go because I can place my son just about anywhere along this horizon line and it'll look fine. But what I wanna do is I wanna place my dolphin. Now the dolphin, I'm gonna use black paint and he's really just made up of a couple simple shapes. So my dolphin is going to be what looks like a sideways letter C. Okay, it's just a curved line, almost like a rainbow. And you can put yours up a little bit higher in your sky if you want. And then from there, we're gonna keep the bottom part pretty narrow, but we're gonna fatten up the middle of him all the way to the front. So now this kind of looks more like a banana, okay? We've got this pointed, or maybe even a claw, a pointed edge down here, and he gets a little chunkier as we go up. So then you just go ahead and fill that little guy in. And you know, if you are adventurous and wanna put two or three dolphins in here, cause you know, they're very social animals. They like to be together. Be the artist, change it up. I love seeing what you guys do when you take an idea that I give you and you run with it. We've got our dolphin-ish shape. We're not quite done yet. You see, our dolphin has a small little bump right at the front of his body. That's gonna be his jawline. And then his mouth, his nose, it just kinda comes straight off of here. So all this is, is I just connected from the top and pulled it out went from this little bump right here and smoothed it out. Now his dorsal fin, which is the fin on his back, it is a triangle, but the triangle kind of swoops backwards and then curves back down. If you're like me and you've got some cloud in your dolphin dorsal fin, that is not a big deal at all. Don't worry about that. Now the fin that is underneath your dolphin's body is going to be almost the exact same, except it curves a little more and it's a little bit shorter. And 
And if you want, you can even add an extra little line underneath there to show where the dolphin fin behind on the other side of his body would be. The tail of our dolphin is kind of like how we do our trees. It's a letter Y. So this is actually gonna be like an upside down V because of where our dolphin is, but you're just gonna kind of smooth that out. Kind of connect those pieces right there in the middle. With my itty bitty brush and some white paint, I'm gonna add just a small highlight to my dolphin's back. And then I'm gonna take my finger with some white paint on it and I'm gonna lay out where my sun is gonna be. I do always love adding some stars in my sky, and since this is at sunset, you can toss a couple of stars in the top of your sky if you want. With my baby brush and my white paint, I'm gonna make some small lines right underneath where my sun is setting to show the reflection of the sun onto the water. And it's okay if these white lines blend in with your blue, they're supposed to. And the very last thing you're going to do before you're finished is you are gonna write your name. I always like to sign my name in the bottom right corner be sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure that you post your finished product on our Painting with a Purpose Facebook page. That's the only way I'm ever going to be able to see it. And remember to stay safe, stay creative, and stay kind. Thanks for painting with me. Bye, friends.